For many of us, having children is an important part of life. Unfortunately, many people are facing problems when trying to build a family, and the chances for having a successful pregnancy are generally overestimated by the public. Imagine five pregnant women. Despite the best medical care, one of them is going to lose her baby. And although we do know some possible reasons for miscarriage, like genetic problems or infections, every second miscarriage remains unexplained. We do know that a key factor to a successful pregnancy is the regulation of the maternal immune system. As the embryo is only half genetically identical with the mother, the immune system has to adapt in many aspects to enable the embryo to thrive while still being able to combat infections. Without this regulation, a pregnancy could be recognized as possibly harmful and be attacked, resulting in miscarriage. In this complex regulation process, there is one player that we might be underestimating until now. The billions of bacteria in our gut, which make up the so-called microbiome. We already know that our microbiome influences many diseases like diabetes, chronic inflammatory diseases, and even cancer. Gut bacteria are capable of influencing our immune cells by releasing small particles called extracellular vesicles that interact with our immune cells and are able to change the intensity of our immune response. In my thesis, I want to improve the understanding of miscarriage by combining these two aspects, how gut bacteria influence our immune system and the consequence of this regulation regarding pregnancy. As everybody has a slightly individual mix in their microbiome, I want to find out if there are certain kinds of bacteria that have the power to protect a pregnancy or promote pregnancy complications. For this cause, I want to look at how immune cells interact with those vesicles and if there is a difference between the microbiome of healthy pregnant women and women who have suffered multiple miscarriages. But that's only the beginning. I want to know if an altered immune cell response can actually lead to a higher risk for miscarriage. And this is where mice can help. I will observe mice that receive an antibiotic treatment. Antibiotics provoke an imbalance of the gut microbiome. So when these mice get pregnant, I will check whether their disturbed microbiome leads to a different immune cell composition and if this really causes a higher risk for miscarriage. The findings of my experiments could not only help gaining a better understanding on this important issue, but possibly offer a new direction for diagnostic and maybe even therapeutic approaches in the future. And who knows if one day taking the right kinds of bacteria in a pill can eventually help preventing miscarriage.